uh, to retail analyst Heath Herzog now on if this is a failure on Sears's part or a warning sign for all retailers. How are you? Hey, I'm great. Pretty remarkable when you see Jeff standing there in the middle of a massive Sears that had already been liquidated and a Sears on the other side in which there was one car outside. Right. At Sears, this has been happening for a while now. And I think about when I started covering retail and around 2011 when the first wave of the Sears stores started closing down. So this has been a long time coming. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that it took this long, to be honest. But there are a lot of assets that they need to liquidate, including the real estate holdings. So when you think about, you know, a lot of these Sears have been anchors in malls. Uh, what I mean by that, it's the store that you go to all the time. Yeah, that's Sears and a JCPenney. So now that they're liquidating, you're probably going to start seeing surgical centers, um, gyms even, maybe even um, like play uh, stations or, you know, places that people but can go to. these are big because, you know, I think about the the Sears near me and uh, outside of Washington, D.C. and in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in Maryland on the other side of the border. Uh, it's in a mall. It's in a big mall there that has a Nordstrom, a massive food court, etc. You take the Sears out. I'm not sure a gym could go in that spot. You, there's few things at this point, right, that can really fit, unless they really chop that up, et cetera, but it's a tough game. You would uh, be surprised with all those CrossFitters so? all excited about going to the gym. Well, they want, no, I mean, a the bigger one, the better, right? So. right a, a gym's one example. The point right. being, these are big spaces, and retail's having trouble to begin with. Right, and I think that was part of the problem. I mean, we have giant uh, spaces with um, huge amounts of square footage, so a lot of what is happening in retail is that they are getting smaller. It's getting consolidated. So you're not seeing these gigantic superstores anymore. You're seeing pop-up stores all around, uh, you know, the different parts of the country and here in New York on the streets. Uh, also, online shopping, and I think that's part of the problem. Sears didn't adopt to that. So, you know, PayPal came out with a study. 47% of people in the United States have been spending their shopping online, especially during the holidays. Yeah. Um, not only through that, but through their mobile devices, through their phones, through their iPads, through their uh, computers. You just, you just saw Jeff out there. It's cold in Chicago. People it's don't want to get York. in their cars yeah, and why, drive I over to the stores. I out the, the laptop right now and go shop for the wife, shop for myself, shop for the kids, just like that in a few minutes. And if I want to go in the store, it's, it's there. Exactly. I get it to my door and it doesn't fit my kid. He's grown too big. And so I go return it. It's a, it's a leg to the store anyway. It, and, and Sears refused to uh, get on board with that. And so you have stores like Amazon trumping that. Uh, and uh, you have Eddie Lampert that would not as CEO, uh, have the retailer adopt to the changing uh, space of retail. So is Amazon I mean, it is the biggest game in town at this point, but, I mean, is that the future then for 10, 15, 20, 30 years? I mean, 20 years ago, you never would have talked about Sears going going gone. No. So uh, Amazon, yes, I think right now it's the biggest game in, in retail right now. Uh, however, I, as these retailers adopt, and I think as they, their strategies increase and they have newer CEOs come in that really understand what is going on, I think at some point, you know, we see – Stores like Walmart, for example, really ramping up their online shopping right. uh, offerings, especially Target, who spent a lot of uh, money trying to ramp up their online uh, sh uh, ability for people right. to come and exactly. shop in there. A lot of SG&A spent for Target. I mean, it had an impact on their earnings, but I think that is what's driving people to shop online. Adapt or die, right? Exactly. Keith Herzog, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much.